Good morning students. How are you all? I'm sure that you have revised chapter 11 and you have completed the question answers also. And today we are going to start with a new chapter, chapter 12 of your reader book, which is a beautiful poem written by James Russell Lowell. So have we ever seen fountain? How do you feel when you see a fountain? You know, uh, have you enjoyed the beauty of fountain? So today we are going to read the poem, The Fountain. And through this poem, poet spreads the light on beauty and work of fountain. So let's read the poem. So children, you can see this is fountain. Hannah, you can see it is very beautiful and it is always cheerful. It is always cheerful. It is glorious. So, whether it is sunny day, it is moonlight, it is starry night, it always keep on working. Ye hamesha kaam karta rehta hai. So, so many qualities are being described by the poet in the poem, The Fountain. With the help of this poem, poet shows us the qualities of fountain and we can adopt these qualities, these punctuality of fountain in our lives also. So, beta, listen the things carefully and you can adopt so many good things from the po poem Fountain. So, into the sunshine full of light, leaping and flashing from morn till night. So, read the first stanza. Into the sunshine full of the light, leaping and flashing from morn till night. Morn means morning here. So, beta poet describes that the fountain, it, it, uh, it is glorious it is shining in sunlight during day when sun is shining and it show it spreads sun spreads its light on the water of fountain and it shines and water is jumping very high leaping means jumping high water is jumping high so whenever sunny day is there the water of fountain shines. Now read the next stanza. Now into the moonlight whiter than snow. Waving so flower like when the winds blow. So in this stanza poet describes that when moonlight is there. Moon is spreading its light on the wat on water of fountain it looks like snow Hena? we can see the light of moon is white Hena? so and it looks like a white flower it looks like a white flower jesse whenever spray is there of water in fountain it looks like the, it is a white flower it is a white flower in the night and when the winds blow it shakes the flower shakes so now in the third stanza into the starlight rushing in spray happy at midnight happy by day so in whenever stars are there in the night during night whenever stars are shining so water of fountain it it is like spray small drops of water it is jumping it is leaping happy at midnight happy by day fountain always looks happy it always looks happy when but in the day or in at night also it is happy at midnight and happy by day chai din ho chai raat ho it is always cheerful it is always happy so poet says that we should also like fountain Hame hamesha khush rehna chahiye. we should always be cheerful ever in motion blithesome and cheery 
still climbing heavenward never a weary so now poet says it is ever in motion it is always in working mode ye hamesha kaam karta rehta hai blithesome and cheery but never feel sad it never feels sad it is always blithesome means happy cheerful cheery cheerful so it is always happy and cheerful still climbing heavenward because whenever when we see water of fountains goes upward and then it comes downward so it keeps on working all the time hamesha kaam karta rehta hai but never feels sad it always happy and cheerful in the same way we should we should always be happy and aur hame hamesha apna kaam karte rehna chahiye glad of all weather and it is never tired it is never a weary means tired it is never tired yet it never gets tired now let's see the next stanza glad of all weathers still seeming best upward or downward motion they rest so it always keeps on working and in, in any season you can see that this fountain is working whether it is summer winter spring monsoon it always keeps on working upward and downward water is going upward and it comes downward and it is always in motion it is always in motion at its place only we know that it is not moving but it at uh, it is the same place it keeps on doing its work so in the same way we should also keep on doing our work full of nature nothing can tame changed every moment ever the same full of nature nothing nothing can tame changed every moment ever the same we can see feel the natural beauty when we see any fountain we can feel the natural beauty it is natural it is it is its natural process that water goes up and it comes downward nothing can tame no one can control its speed no one can control the fountain changed every moment ever the same changed every moment ever the same so always uh, the water keeps on changing each and every time but at its place only so now ceaseless aspiring ceaseless content darkness or sunshine thy element so ceaseless ceases what do you mean by ceaseless beta seeming to have no end it is very aspiring means it is inspiring it gives us confidence it gives us confidence that we should also keep on working like a fountain ceaseless content it uh, it is it we cannot control it it is without end darkness or sunshine whether it is dark or sunshine it always keeps on working now the last stanza of the poem glorious fountain let my heart be glorious fountain glorious means beautiful beautiful fountain let my heart be fresh changeful constant upward like the like you means like you so here in this stanza poet wants to be like a fountain ever glorious ever fresh forever changeful constant and upward it always go goes upside so the beautiful message is given by the poet through this poem that we should be like a fountain it is always fresh cheerful and it is always doing his work continuously 
सो वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड इंस्पायरिंग पोएट रिटन बाय जेम्स रसल लोवेल सो बेटा वट यू कैन डू बेटा रीड द पोएम केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू अडॉप्ट द क्वालिटीज ऑफ फाउंटेन विद इन यू थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे